This is a super this is a superhuman society. society. We're about 80 he didn't do the full spiel last time, so he just can't help himself. Gotta get it out of his system. We are running through these halls with less smiles on our faces than usual. My name is Izuku Midoriya, and I ate another man's DNA. <laughs> <laughs> After a series of incidents that put us up against the world. A series of incidents, that, that's a good way to put it. Through careful recon, he uncovered some of the group's secrets. I'm legit worried for Hawks. I don't know how he stays hidden during this whole thing. This is it, I mean, the war is starting. The pros will be split into two groups. Right, this is mostly recap. That is increasing my <laughs> anticipation, because it's already begun. I've been so looking forward to this episode. We expect substantial resistance from the villains, their supporters, and the Nomu, but we cannot wait any longer. I can't get over this crew, though. I can't get over the fact that literally everybody's on deck. The idea is to take out the entire Paranormal Liberation Front in one sweep. There's no time for career. There's no time for vanity or glory. It's just about doing their part. Ah! Damn. Ah! But she just went in there all alone. Maybe got a little ahead of herself. My little John. Something tells me Johnny is not as cute and harmless as he seems. <gasps> or did you just kill Johnny? Did Johnny just die? <laughs> It's very unclear. This psycho doctor is losing his mind. Super Beaver. Now that's a quirk. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised by the optimistic tone. I mean, it is My Hero Academia. I don't think this is the season of season of optimism necessarily. I've got some old Giza crying over a Nomu down here. Her her confidence and exuberance worries me. Not sure, but I'll know once I kick him. Mirko, the number five hero. Oh my god, it's so satisfying. It's so satisfying watching all of them fight together. Even present Mike, actually in battle. Yes, do it, Aizawa. <laughs> oh my god, Endeavor and Aizawa as a team. Unbelievable. Such a handy quirk. You yeah. Know, it's not too late to become one of my sidekicks. No, Aizawa's not a sidekick. Who else is gonna step in and train all my useless children? <laughs> he loves them though. Probably carrying the most serious patients to another hospital somewhere close by. Uh, Deku's just... been sort of low key so far, or at least in the first episode. Doubt that'll last. Start clearing your assigned areas immediately. Uh, right. Deku looks older. Is it my imagination? Can't believe I'm stuck back here helping a bunch of randos run away. Pit me against a villain. Our role is integral, Bakugo. Stay the course. That's Bakugo in a nutshell. Staying the course. We got this. Guy. Let's go, after all they've been through, after all the movies, after that island siege, their teamwork is A+. The number six hero, crushed. Finally, we're getting to see more of these, like, sort of obscure top ten heroes. Ha, huh. that's enough for number six. Yes, yes I am! No need for violence! Only one way to <laughs> She heard his pleas and then she ignored them. My other little darlings are still baking and barely in the testing stages. He talks about them like they're cookies. <laughs> Mocha. Mocha. They are cookies or desserts. I can't believe you used your power without a direct order. You were protecting me, weren't you? Well, this opens up some weird doors, like Rogue Nomu. It's time. Been so long. Yes. Yes. Can go wild. Destroy. I mean, this is just fanfic I'm writing at this point, but I can imagine a scenario where the villains and heroes need to team up against Rogue Nomu because they sort of have the artificial power of all for one, right? They can be made to accumulate quirks, or at least they can have quirks stacked. If they have minds of their own, they could easily outpace humans that are sort of limited by, you know, normal birth and life. I think I made a joke at some point a long time ago about AI being a villain, just because that's like a common thing you see in anything that involves powers. This could be a version of that, but just more organic. You are crushed from the hero charts. But I forget what number you are. This one? Relatable. <laughs> right about that, beast! <laughs> this world is so huge, man. It's so big that even the number six hero can be sort of unknown to the audience, I mean. Mirko. Hey, look who it is. Hey, 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 hey. The Nomu is communicating. Help me. There are more of the big ones ahead! Oh right, they're talking. That's They're talking a lot, and intelligently. That's not normal. They have no will of their own and can only act as they're programmed. No, no, this is being built up. They're building something up here. Yeah, this could be just building up for this episode or like a short arc. I feel like more likely it's building for something bigger than that. That includes the one cold woman. This guy looking like Majin Buu. How can she still move? Must stop the hero. I will kill her. I canceled out the impact of that landing with my legs. <laughs> Reminds me of the time Dick who spent eight years thinking up a new move and came up with a kick. <laughs> she canceled out that fall by 
Landing. The number five hero, Mirko. Mirko. Her quirk, quirk legs, she rabbit. Can do stuff a rabbit can, but so much better. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you, President Mike, if you say it like that. That means you can bite really hard. Every rabbit I've ever met has bit me. Luna Rig! Nice. Got him, but not enough. Oh, damn, she just took that thing out already? I love that they're taking the time to develop Mirko, or like show her off. This world just keeps getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> what a line. Oh damn, she gets kanji text. Can't ignore this busted arm if I want to keep doing my job. Speaking of being Deku. I live every day as if I'm not gonna see another one. That way I'll have no regrets when I die. <laughs> but you zombies are out of luck. Mirko's not going down. I've actually been thinking a lot about this whole live every day like it's your last thing. I think I was very cynical about it for a really long time, but I realized that I was misunderstanding it. You know, the criticism I had of it was that some of the sweetest things require sacrifice, patience, waiting, not doing all of the things that immediately call you in favor of building things that require long-term planning and step-by-step -step calculating and acting. But that's sort of just nitpicking. I think the real beauty in it is the idea of matching yourself with an ideal on a daily basis, on an action by action basis. I'm a, a really big believer in like this divine power of potential. And I think one of the stakes to life is never approaching it or never getting close to it. It's been a really bizarre year for me. I've done a handful of things that I'm not particularly proud of. And I had this thought today, like, you know, one day someone's gonna invent a way to maybe not time travel, but to view time in like a video or something. And if that happens, at some point, someone's gonna go back and see these really embarrassing things I've done. <laughs> and so I was thinking, well, maybe that could be some kind of guideline, you know, like what if you imagine you're a protagonist, you know, and every moment is a choice. Every moment is defining and not in an outcome based way. You know, it's not like, and then he won every battle. It's more like what choices did you make and how close to them were the things that you, you felt were right. Maybe even especially when the outcomes don't go the way you want, want them to or want them to be written. How do you react to that? And I think that's part of what makes this show so spectacular and all the cast, you know, even a caller, a minor character, just in reference to the whole show, like Mirko, always striving to meet that always striving to hit that point where they feel they are doing their absolute best, you know, plus ultra. I think that's why I'm so drawn to the show and why I keep coming back to it and why I think about it almost every day, you know, even between seasons. Endeavor remains on the ground floor fighting more Nomu. Yes. Endeavor, the number one hero with probably the highest or number one Nomu kill count. They even got Selkie off his boat looking as cute as ever. It's almost time. Stand up. I have so much confidence in team headshots. Team, especially because Mineta's there. Mineta knows what he's doing. Believe in his potential. We had to recruit this many pros because the enemy is that dangerous. Tokoyami's probably fine. So maybe Kaminari is too. <gasps> I'm sure he'll be okay. You'll see. The show has also done such an amazing job of establishing their bonds and all their little dynamics. Kaminari was in the mid card. This is so scary. I feel like such a fanboy watching <laughs> these first two episodes. <laughs> How was I supposed to say no when everybody was there? He looks older too. Maybe I just respect them more. Just tell yourself that we useless adults need your aid. No, it's so much worse if I think the pros can't handle this without <laughs> me. Kaminari. Fair. You scared too? Everyone's scared, even the heroes. Even the pros. You are an incredible person. Oh. Being a guitar god help. Kinda weird I haven't gotten to talk to him. That's because he's off getting stronger. He'll be in the mountains near Kyoto. That was really months. key info. Whoops, that's a secret. Whoops, indeed. But he's not in the mountains. Yeah, this puts a lot of heat on Hawks. Let's go light him up, huh? Oh, is that gonna be a pairing with Kaminari? They'll give their lives to bring down society. If we miss a single person, the world is in danger. We attack to protect <laughs> Charge! Try not to get overwhelmed, kid. Uh, sure thing. The fact that they can even think about his feelings in the midst of all this. Just imagine you're really protecting whatever is most dear to your heart. Huh, my friends. Maybe a very specific friend. Aww. Uh. <laughs> Oh, maybe she heard that. She heard him turn around and stare at her. My apple boat reigns supreme. A power that electrifies any who stand in the way of my will. It's cool. We got one of you on staff or an intern. <laughs> Damn, we took that speech to heart. Shall we call it a day, you think? <laughs> nah, I got more practice in me. And I got to gossip about my love for Jiro. Bro gossip. We got to make this a great show for her. You are kind. You would do anything is kind. for your friends. Especially for that one special friend. <laughs> I hope this ends with both of them thumbs-upping each other. 
<laughs> nice. One finger. One finger. Electricity drain. That's one scary leader rendered powerless. <laughs> Looking badass. Good boy. And we take a minute to stop the invasion to admire Kaminari. Incredible. <laughs> They're so supportive. I love it. Thanks. Just glad I could help. There's no moment we can't spare for a pep talk. Oh no, that was so quick. That episode went by so fast. That was a great episode for both Mirko and Kaminari, even though the latter section was kind of short. So excited. So excited for Deku Shigaraki. Speaking of looking back for people you care about. I didn't notice before that in this shot it's just a sea of dust. That's ominous. Part of what's so terrifying about the season is that you know it's coming. You know Shigaraki's gonna finish this or almost finish this. Power up. I mean, as if he wasn't powerful enough at the end of season five. And then what? You know, he can disintegrate people with, what, a glance? Touching the the ground at his feet, you know? It's gonna be rough, buddy. <laughs> Watching this, I'm actually sweating. <laughs> the first episode was great, but this episode I really love, and I think what makes it a little bit different is that it's true to the My Hero Academia heart that I've grown to love, you know? It would honestly be enough if it was just straight action, because I already love the characters, I already love the show. I'm fully behind them, and I also am invested in the villains, so it's kind of the ultimate clash. It's been set up so, so nicely, so perfectly. But here we had that great sort of outlook and heart that's really what's central to the beauty of the show for me, while simultaneously adding some exposure to some of these villains that, despite being in the top 10, have been a little bit more obscure than the familiar faces. So yeah, great episode. Can't wait. Cannot wait for episode three.